Star Citizens, and welcome to another episode of Star Citizen Nightly. It's been a little while. So what I actually want to do is just hop right into it. No breaks. Uh, you can look at all of our other uh, videos for our ship contest rules and all that other stuff. But let's just hop right into this one and it's going to be a short one. So we first go to this week in Star Citizen. So it's not a whole lot going on this week except the beginning of Ship Showdown. So uh, expect me to make some very interesting content around Ship Showdown. I really want to uh, press for certain ships in Ship Showdown. I can't tell you which ones I'm gonna press for uh, yet, but I definitely want some new ships to win Ship Showdown. Some ships that don't get that much love, some ships that don't have that many skins, so on and so forth. But that's kind of just my gist of it. But uh, obviously, I'm reading this week in Star Citizen. Ship Showdown starts tomorrow. So uh, that's actually, this this video should be coming out around 11 p.m. Eastern time, or I think that's UTC minus five, something like that. Um, and then we get a Galactopedia update as well tomorrow. Can't wait for Ship Showdown, though. Um, I hope they do like a little bit of a sale with that as well. Um, because I actually messed up on a CCU or no, no, I fixed it. Uh, then we have inside star citizen on Thursday, August 1st. And of course, um, we should, I'm not sure if they'll actually announce it on Thursday, but we should also be getting like what our, you know, monthly subscription things are, are going to be for the month on August 1st as well. But sometimes they, they don't put it out until a few days later. So we'll see. Um, that inside star citizen hopefully has a lot of information in it. I'm hoping for a uh, wave one. I was hoping for this week, but mm, it's not looking likely. So maybe next week, um, maybe next week we'll get wave one. I don't think we'll get it this Friday, but hopefully next Friday. Uh, and yeah, then star citizen live on August 2nd and an RSI weekly newsletter. So let's look down here. It looks like there was some some cool uh, coin display stuff going on here. Um, these actually look like some of these look like the military coins that I used to get. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind making some of these. These are pretty cool. And then these top images. Uh, I don't know how you guys make such cool images. Uh, I feel like I'm just not good at it. That's it's just the only way to say it. Where are you even standing when you took this picture? Where were you standing? That's that's incredible. Or maybe you just push this into. I don't know how you did it. I, why am I trying to guess how you did it? I'm not going to get it. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> that's pretty cool, though. You walked all the way up into the wilderness. That one I feel like I can recreate. I just don't have that suit, I don't think. But uh, I like how the, the uh, snow is all over the face there. And then that one, I'm assuming that's top down water floating. I have no idea, but it's cool looking. So there you have it. All right, going into Evocati. So it looks like here, uh, cargo commodity rebalancing and dynamic event blockade runner is still not up into the testing, um, but this is from three days ago. This is from July 26th. So we don't know. And well, maybe we'll get an, uh, an update tomorrow, but this is from three days ago. So uh, this is something I didn't cover. It says made further cargo auto loading timer balance adjustments. So the cargo auto loading is they're adjusting the timing for, you know, if you want to have it loaded instead of loading it yourself. Um, and that makes sense because I'm sure people are like, wait, this is too long for this much, or this is too, too short for this much, so on and so forth in the Evocati realm. And then ultra wide people rejoice. The UI scaling will now base grid sizes on height, not width, and relative to a 16, nine aspect ratio. So, if you have been if you have been having issues with ultra wide this looks like they are paying attention to it finally it doesn't look like they're fixing everything but this does look like it's going to be a major step forward for ultra wide users now this next one i didn't read too much into this but this i i, I wanted to get your guys opinion on this right so this this i'm going to read it heavy weapons are useless now there is no need to make this long but the railgun has been nerfed to complete uselessness now, and the Animus launcher has never worked correctly and is even more broken. Now, I agree that the railgun should have never been a one-shot kill on small aircraft, but six to eight on a Hornet is too much. Not to mention, 
that many more shots, the many more shots it takes to threaten even bigger ships now. The ammo is heavy and to carry enough to be a threat to loitering aircraft requires the user to pretty much solely outfit themselves just to RG, I'm, I'm assuming this is to have just the railgun ammo type. This is expensive and takes away the ability to be combat effective with any other weapons you would need. In closing, I'm not saying make them one shot killers again, but if you are you are a ship flying overhead and are either standing still or have not cleared the area, uh, the railgun and animus should be a very legitimate threat. Uh, it should not be, it should, it should be as intended a high risk, high reward answer to aerial vehicles from the ground. Okay, let's go to this. It's buffed in 3.24, was not meant to be nerfed. And then don't know about, uh, this says out of curiosity, why was it shipped then? There were several IC posts and struck down as not a bug issue well before it hit live. Don't know about the latter, but when these things are found, it can sometimes be too late to, for the data to get in. Builds get locked for data, meaning bug fixes, only so balanced stuff like this was to wait and, since you won't wait since you want to ship the build. So you put it in the earliest possible patch, which was dot two. This is a, a common thing that happens, right? Like every issue that's found doesn't necessarily get fixed the minute it's found. And every fix that is implemented does not necessarily mean it will go in to the next patch or even the next two or three patches, because sometimes there's certain things that have to be changed in order to get the patch in or to get that fix in that are already past the point of no return. So if there was an issue that they wanted to get fixed in 3.24, right? And they found it in 3.22, right? Now 3.22 was a long time ago, but that doesn't mean that just because they found it in 3.22, it should have been in 3.23 for the for the fix because they may have to go back and fix some back end stuff that they just can't do without drastically pushing back a patch. And I don't know about you, but I don't care about rail guns enough uh, to have them push back a patch by two or three months just so that they can get a fix in for rail guns. I like rail guns. I definitely don't think they should take six or six to eight shots to, to kill anything, but I didn't, I don't care enough about them to make it to where I'm gonna push uh, a major patch back by two months to get that in. So. Uh, a lot of the times when you put these things up, if if the devs say that there is a fix coming, just like don't expect that that fix to just automatically pop in at the next the next uh, patch because it, it it may or may not be too late to fit it into the next patch. So it may come in a dot patch. It may come you know in a, in a completely other major patch. So we just don't know the underlying things that 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 mess things up for that. Um, but this was back in June 19th that they said this, yet you still had a person posting as of June, what was that, uh, the, the last one? I think that was July 27th, right? That they were upset that that the, the, the rail gun was nerfed, right? It was not meant to be nerfed, so that means it was something just went wrong in, in, the, in the development process, um, but we don't know if they'll bring it back to the same way it was but if it wasn't meant to be nerfed then my guess is it will be brought back but um my guess is i would probably bring it back to two shots uh i feel like getting lucky once with a rail gun shouldn't be enough to kill a, a massive ship but unless it's a really tiny ship i think it should be able to do like actually no i actually like it a 6k isn't so bad 6,000 a shot isn't so bad. I mean, yeah, leave it, leave it. I mean, if you, if you're, if you, you, if you're taking your ship close enough to where somebody could just pop at you with a rail gun uh, from a base, you probably should have brought, you, you probably should have brought uh, uh, something a little bit smaller uh, that, that couldn't be shot out of the air. I'm just saying. But um, anyway, uh, this is just a, a, a reminder that sometimes when you think there's an issue, maybe check the uh the forum and see if there's a some already an answer to it or already a fix to it because you might be wasting your time typing it up if it's already tracked and being fixed and on the road to recovery so to speak all right that is it for star citizen nightly thanks for spending your time with us i will see you in the next one peace